Hello everybody, this is Shay, and I am going over the Grand Lux, or the Tarot Grand Lux. Oh my gosh, I can't even say it right. The Tarot Grand Lux today. And what I will be talking about is I just bought this, and I got it in a couple days ago. I did open it earlier today because I wanted to, I couldn't wait to see the cards. They're just so pretty. I just wanted to show you the box. It's a nice little box. It's not a tuck box. It's a sturdy little thing, and I really like it. They've kind of upped their games, U.S. games. And that is the box. Now, the card stock is very nice. It is super soft, and it's flimsy, kind of like Llewellyn, but it's just super nice. I love it. <laughs> Here, I'm whispering, and I don't know why. <clears throat> I did want to show you the size. So here's your normal deck. Um, and this is the Grand Lux. And as you can tell, there's a bit of a difference there. But of course, you can always trim. And it'll probably be about the same as the, if you did trim it. Maybe they planned it that way. Because in the inside, this is the King of Coins. They have that where you can trim it as well. So you can always modify it and this will probably be a good deck to be edged and I'll probably end up doing that edging that in black Ooh, or even gold gold would be really nice for this deck but I think I will do that I think I will edge that deck it's just so pretty I really like it I like it a lot okay and I wanted to show you the size everybody knows this oracle deck and compared to this card <clears throat> i'm sorry the card comparison is what i want to say is similar in length even and but the oracle of course is longer but that just tells you how tall they are and how wide they are so we put these aside okay and hopefully i don't hit the camera it's on a camera stand that will bounce so to be careful here is the <clears throat> little white book. Now again, this is the Tarot Grand Lux by Cyril Marchetti. And I, um, I just, Marchetti just sounds right. So, and this is, um, it's a little black and white introduction. And it has 34 pages, Queen of Coins. It has a little brief description about each one. It's not bad for, you know, a little white book. It's pretty solid. I mean, from his other decks, it's pretty nice. <clears throat> now, from what I hear, this is his last deck. It's kind of the best of the best, so this is it. This is his final deck. He's decided not to do them anymore, Cyril Marchetti. So this is it, y'all. <laughs> his final one and uh we'll see see how that fares out for him best of the best okay now we're gonna start with the cards and here's the fool it's kind of your typical knight knights of the round table type fool i guess a little tiny castle fool um no cliff but He's being chased by his loyal companion, the doggy. Here's the magician. Mastering all. Nice. A little owl. The high priestess. This is a really pretty card. I just love the blue. Very nice. Of course, this is the box. I don't I made a comment about it, but it's very carnival type box. It's it's pretty friggin' cool. Let me just say that. Now I want to. This is like my favorite Empress like ever. <laughs> I just love love this card. It's so so pretty. I'm just. 
blows me away how pretty this is I just like this one I just want to blow up and put on my wall right above my bed so friggin pretty okay anyways <laughs> moving on the Emperor he is well, it's okay very Roman Roman em Emperor Ugh. the Hierophant the lovers with the cranes they look like they're 12 but the lovers <laughs> Ooh, the chariot cool and he's got the reins strength I love it with the fall leaves that's pretty is she writing him I think so I'm getting my glasses I think she is writing him. <laughs> the Hermit. Very nice. The Wheel. I love this Wheel of Fortune. Now tell me, true or not, is that the Aztec calendar? Like, probably incorrect, but with Roman numerals? I don't know. Someone tell me. What is this? <laughs> but that is an awesome Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and then here's Justice. The Hanging Man. Death. This is a very cool death card. Again, that masquerade feel. The White Flower. I see something new each time <laughs> in these cards. Oh, Temperance. Very pretty. And the Devil. Not sure how I feel about this. Kind of reminds me of the old vampire in the Dracula movie. You know, the one with Keanu Reeves. <sighs> that Dracula. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> uh, the Tower. Pretty. The only nudity in the deck, I believe, is this star card. The moon. I love this moon card. It's very rider weight, and then you'll come across this that, whoa, that is not a naked baby. That's the sun god, Ra. That is pretty cool for the sun. I like it. I really like that sun card. Judgment. I see the graveyard down here. In the world. Very pretty. Very pretty. I like that world. Okay sword suit. We have the ace of swords. We have a hawk or an eagle. Very pretty. Two of swords. Three of swords. Four of swords. And he's kind of dreaming up here himself in battle. Five of Swords. It's, I like this Five of Swords. It's not, you know, the Five of Swords is a tricky one, you know, but uh, he's definitely the victor and the defeated is here. Six of Swords. Seven. The eight. The nine. Kind of creepy face in there. I'd be worried too. The 
ten. I like this ten of swords. There you go. Go figure. I like this ten of swords. <laughs> yes. Not many of those I like. Page of swords. It's got very childlike features. I love the birds. Parakeets. Beautiful colors. The knight. Very Viking. The queen. Beautiful. The king. Nice. It's very diverse. I like that. Very cool. He's such a pretty card. I love the fishies. All the little fishies. <laughs> the two of cups. Holding hands. Very nice. Three of cups. Four of cups. He's dreaming of that one. <laughs> it's like, you have three right in front of you, but you're missing the one right up above in the clouds. Just got to dream about it. Oh, five. Six of cups. It's pretty. Seven of cups. Reminds me of Asgard. Floating in the clouds with the rainbow bridge. Eight of cups. Nine of cups. He looks pretty happy. Ten of cups. Look at the kitty. Like swimming with the fishies. Night. Very Atlantean. Queen. And the king. I'm not sure about this king. Looks a little odd. Off a little bit. I don't know. Ace of Wands. Oops. The dragon. Fire dragon. I'm falling out of my seat. <laughs> I get comfy. Alright. Two of Wands. It's not your typical two of Wands. Hmm. It says about it. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. I really like this Five of Wands. That's pretty cool. Six. Seven, eight. I like how they're coming at you and not going. They're just coming straight at you. Nine. Very gladiator type. And ten. Heavy burden. Page. A little bit older than the others. The Knight. The Queen. Very fiery. Great colors for the, the courts. The King. Nice. Alright, the Pentacles. I like this. 
I like the tree in the back. Oh, coins, not pentacles. A juggler from a circus. That cir circus. <laughs> circus. From a circus. <laughs> juggler. Three of coins. Oh, he's building something. Nice. Four. Coins. Seven. She looks happy. Harvest time. Eight. Nine. Hm. I'm not sure about the hat, but I think it's kind of cool that the coins are in her hat. <laughs> Ten of coins. And I just love the greens in this earthy type color. And look at the baby fawn. Okay, knight. The queen. This is my card. This is me. <laughs> Her, the queen of cups. I kind of go back and forth. And the empress. And the king of coins. All right, now I'm gonna shuffle them real quick. And like I said before, this is this cardstock is super smooth, soft, very matte, not glossy. I love this is probably the best cardstock I've had with US games. <laughs> but here I'm gonna shuffle them real quick. I'm afraid to bounce the camera, so I'm gonna do it to the side or not. Camera's gonna bounce. Ooh, they're a little stiff, probably because they're brand new, and I'm afraid to bounce the camera. <laughs> but not bad. Not bad at all. It's nice. They're not bad size. I mean, I have big hands, but I don't like big decks, so. But this one is, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see what we got here. We have the of coins and it just reminds me of Notre Dame like they're fixing Notre Dame that's what it reminds me of so three of coins Hold on three of coins this card shows a craftsman someone who knows and is proficient at his trade this is labor to be sure but also a labor of love there's pride and satisfaction in both the process and the end results. Okay, well that's the Tarot Grand Lux. I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> and it's a very, very beautiful deck. Very nice, smooth deck. The cards are just bendy and oh, I love this deck. I'm gonna this is a keeper, definitely. Ooh. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy. This is Shay, and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.